Ambalapa way. Boy, there sure aren't very many Chinese people around. Yeah, I guess it gets a little touristy on Saturday nights. Chinese are probably inside making a living. Oh, look at this place. <gasps> we should Listen, Chief, uh, there's something I gotta tell you. Uh, this... Mr. McHugh, your table is waiting. Uh, we're really not that hungry. Mr. Liu would like you to be his guests for dinner. Uh, well, we could eat. While officials are refusing to call it a murder spree, two men are dead, and McHugh is believed to be armed and very dangerous. Well, I hope you don't mind. I've taken the liberty of introducing myself to your lovely companion. At last we meet. You're, uh, different than I imagined. Thanks, uh, Lou, Mr. Lou? Uh, James Lou. I hope you're enjoying your meal. May I join you? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, this is a really great place you have, James. So, it seems we share many interests. Beautiful women, exotic cars, Manchurian vases of the late 16th century. Oh, right. Uh, I, just, I just saw an article on, on your collection. Ah, you read. Then you know how valuable some of those vases can be. Well, yeah, I mean, actually, it's it's funny because just today I heard a, a proverb about vases, or um, actually, it's about a pot. It's about this really poor guy who gets this pot from his uncle or his. I grandpa. know the proverb. Oh well. Oh well, I know. What's it about? It, it just basically says always look inside the pot. Or uh, and and this is just my interpretation, but. Uh, uh, shake it up every now and then and see if there's any money in it, you know? <laughs> oh, so now it's money you're after. Only yesterday you were begging me to spare your life. We made a deal, Nikhil. A deal? What's he talking about? Oh, no. You see, I'm not the guy you made the deal with. I'm, I'm, I'm not Craig McHugh. He's, he's my brother. Let me guess. Your evil twin brother, right? <laughs> Where is it? Where is my buzz? Listen, McHugh. I've been cutting you a lot of slack. I have not held you accountable for Ho Wong's accident because I like you. Did you know that he killed my... Cousin Ho Wong? Well, it's our first day. We haven't had a lot of time to open up to each other. Mm. He's modest. He told me it was all in self-defense. Fine. I understand. I guess he was probably sent to kill you in the first place anyway. <laughs> Come to think of it. But Mr. McHugh, enough is enough. Don't you realize who you're dealing with here? <laughs> Don't you know that you will never leave this restaurant alive unless you return my property? Tell him you're not Craig. <laughs> what the heck is your problem? It's Mr. Lou's birthday. It's a happy birthday to you. It's Mr. Lou's birthday to you. Happy birthday, my love. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Craig McHugh, how good to find you in. I'm not Craig McHugh. No, of course not. You drive his car, you answer his phone, but still, you're not him. Listen to me, I'm not Craig McHugh. Nevertheless, it's good to find you in. Big mistake, right? Back off. 
right now, Lou. You don't know who you're dealing with. You have until 2 a.m. to return <coughs> my property. <coughs> the pot with the girl. You know where I live. Could, could you just jog in my memory a little? 2 a.m., McHugh. After that, I can't guarantee her safety. your valuable family heirloom. We tried that already. Please. Craig, he doesn't want the vase. Tom, he Craig, wants Craig, trust me, he doesn't want the vase, OK? Tom, I think I should know a little more about this than you. Why do you think I set you up as my alibi, which, by the way, you fouled up royally? You don't want the vase? I have what I want. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to call the police. A thief and his two accomplices were found shot here in self-defense. I, I made copies of that tape. What tape? You bluff. No, I, I did. I can prove it. Give me the phone. Fifteen seconds. No funny stuff, McKeon. Richard. Hi, Betty. And that was Napoleon. We're not home right now. Look, Cotton, I didn't complain when you upped your price for protection. I even gave you a bonus when you took care of Shesky. Now, why are my people getting busted? It's this anti-drug thing. It's getting out of hand. We got to show results, Lou. You want the FBI nosing around? It's Condon. Just lie low for a few months, then we'll get together with Sharpie and Dahini work out a new deal, all right? But like I said, if the FBI gets wind of this, we're all screwed. Unbelievable. They're all in on it. Listen, if you don't like that copy, I made some more. And if we don't return home safely tonight, I've left instructions for the tapes to be sent to the FBI. No, wait, 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 wait. Great, the police. Great, the police. 
Right, please, nobody moves. Nobody gets hurt. I'm glad you're here, sir. This man was about to kill us in cold blood. Is that right? So we've got evidence that's going to put this guy away for life. You found the tape? Yeah. He's got one copy, and I've got another one at home. Oh, only two. So you were bluffing. Kill him. Go ahead, finish him off for me. Earn your payoff money. You're the payoff cops? The payoff cops? Well, this isn't fair. Shut up! Who is this guy? It's McHugh, you idiots! Now kill him! I'm not Craig McHugh! He's not Craig McHugh, I am. Positive, he's not Craig McHugh. Kill them both, and the girl. One of them is bound to be McHugh. McHugh's already dead. In fact, he died a hero. Now, one of your pals here killed Al, Lou, and then McHugh killed him. Then you, you killed McHugh. And now, Lou, I'm gonna kill you. Kill me. That's right. Kill me. That's what I said. You kill for me. I say who kills who. Kill them. And while you're at it, kill yourself. <laughs> 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 